Hey guys, this is Bliss Reviews and welcome to my channel and today I'm back with another Disney Storybook Review and on today's episode of Disney Storybook Review I have Disney Movie Collection, Tinkerbell and The Secret of the Wings. So yeah, these are not the classic storybook, these are the movie collection series. So these are a bit different, though I'm not a fan of these kind of, you know, illustration that are in there. Uh, I'm satisfied that I have these kind of books. So yeah, let us begin with this review. So the book is very dark blue in color. And on the top it says Disney Movie Collection, a uh, special Disney storybook series. And on this side it says Tinkerbell and the Secret of the Wings. And we have Tinkerbell and Periwinkle, who surprisingly is her twin sister, which only we find out in this movie. And this movie is the fourth movie. So it's a bit twisty. So yeah, this book has really nice tex texture. This kind of feels very, I mean, this gives a leathery feeling. And this is glossy, as you can see. So the back of the book is the same color as the front, the dark blue. And up there we have Disney and there are a few of the details of the book. And then we have Tinkerbell, Fawn and Periwinkle in frames. So... Down here we have the barcode and it says copyright 2014 Disney Enterprises Inc. So on the spine of the book it says Disney Movie Collection, Tinkerbell and the Secret of the Wings and P so that would be Paragon so yeah this so yeah this books are by Paragon. So let us open the book and have a better look on the inside. So at the first page we have the cross patterns and then it says this books belongs to so yeah. On this page, we can see Tinkerbell and Periwinkle from the front. And it says, Disney Movies Collection, a special Disney storybook series, Tinkerbell and the Secret of the Wings, and we have Paragon. And down here, we have all the details where the books were manufactured and stuff like that. So here begins the story. So like every storybook, I mean every Tinkerbell storybook, it begins with the changing of the seasons. So I kind of feel like uh, till this fourth part of the movie they showed they were changing the seasons because on part one they were bringing spring and on part two they were bringing autumn and on part three it was summer and on this part we have the winter fairies. I mean they are not actually changing seasons but their win winter fairies are focused. So yeah here they are changing the seasons and here's Tinker Snook. And Tinkerbell is really happy to tinker things and they are making shipments to the winter woods for the baskets and there are snowflake owls and here is Fawn trying to get the animals to cross the border for hibernation and Tinkerbell is helping her and this is one of the scenes that I've never seen in any of the other storybooks I mean I do have few of the other I mean I do have other storybooks from Tinkerbell and the Secret of the Wings and this is the only book that has this picture so it's really amazing and here's Fawn trying to wake up the marmot to cross the border it's a marmot yeah it's a marmot and here's Tinkerbell who is bending the rules and crossing over the border and her wings spark all of a sudden so yeah this illustration is so beautiful as well Though, I mean, as I have been telling you guys, this illustration are not exactly as the animations, but they look really amazing. Oh my god, the snow falling, the scene is really interesting. So, yeah, I kind of forgot to say that if you want to read the story, please pause the video. So, yeah, here is Tinkerbell in the hospital because her wings got frozen because she crossed the border and here are her friends and Fawn and everyone is so worried and this scene is really interesting like their dialogues and stuff are really interesting so Tinkerbell is really curious because her wings are sparkled so she goes to the library to find out but the page is already eaten by the bookworm and she asks one of the bookish fairy that's in there and he tells Tinkerbell that the book one who wrote the book is is one of the winter fairies the keeper so she decides to go to the winter woods and there she is hiding in the basket and here's clunk and bubble who knows <clears throat> and they are trying to help tinkerbell and 
I'm really not a fan of these white patches because they look really, you know, displeasing for me. I mean, why couldn't they cover it all up like the classic storybooks? So she is in there in the winter woods. And here's Lord Mallory who only appears in this movie. So that's what made me surprised in the, I mean, in this movie because there was a minister for the winter and she was no, she is nowhere to be found in this movie. If you have watched the movie, you would really understand what's going on. So yeah, they finally discover the other fairy whose wings would sparkle as well. And Keeper shows them a story and that tells them that they were born of the same laugh. And here's Lord Mallory and the Keeper. And up there, there's Periwinkle and Tinkerbell, the twin sisters. And they kind of uh, start to get to know each other and they figured out their hobbies, their interests are so similar. And Periwinkle shows her part of the world and Tink is desperate, like she also wants to show Periwinkle her part of the world. So as they were talking, the snow melts because of the fire and they fall down and Dewey wants that maybe uh, Tinkerbell in the winter woods is a bad idea. But they sort of make a plan and they bid goodbye for the day. And that very night Tinkerbell gets to her friends and tells her about her sister and asks their help to build up a wagon that I mean wagon as in a snowmaker. And then that's when they meet at the border again and this time Tinkerbell had ordered a big piece of ice. And here are Periwinkle's friends as well helping her. And the soon the snowmaker starts to make snow and the Periwinkle can cross the border now. So yeah, here's Lord Molori's owl looking at them. And here's Periwinkle's tour starts in the win I mean to the other seasons. So here she's enjoying for the first time the flowers, the blossoms, the blossoming flowers, the rainbows and everything, butterflies and everyone. So finally Periwinkle meets Tinkerbell's friends and they are really excited but then the snow starts to finish and heat starts to grow and Periwinkle's wings start to wilt. And they soon get to her to the border and as soon as she gets to the cold her wings are okay. But then on the exact the same time Lord Mallory appears and they told why the rule hat was there and that was the reason because if summer I mean uh, the warm season fairies goes to the winter their wings would freeze and break and if a winter fairy goes to the other season their wings would wilt and break and that's when Tinkerbell says that they cannot keep their sister and her apart that's when the Queen Clarin appears and then they they had to say goodbye forcefully and that's when Lord Mallory and the owl pushes the wagon, the snowmaker, down in the river, which gets stuck and starts making, you know, snow again. And this time in a very huge amount. And here's Queen Clarin explaining Tinkerbell why is why the rule exists, and she shares a story, which is really nice and personal. We don't find that out until the end of the story. So yeah, it's stuck real well and the water is helping the machine move like a hydro power stuff like that and the snow wind is growing up and that breaks the balance and everything starts to get frozen uh, from the autumn woods to springtime square and the summer side as well. And that's when Tinkerbell realizes like if the winter hits the pixie dust tree, uh, the pixie dust tree would die so uh, she learned that the sister, her sister could uh, frost things up so that they could pack the heat inside and the cold not get inside so she flies to the window woods to get her sister's help and that's when that happens and they finally are successful to save it but then 
Tinkerbell shows her broken wing to everyone. And that's when we also see that Lord Mallory and Queen Clarion were, were lovers and that was the story that made the law. So yeah, finally, a little frost would help the summer fa fairies to come to the winter. And then they lived in harmony and no, never was another fairy, you know, forced to stay away from the winter. So yeah, here's my review to the Tinkerbell and Secret of the Wings. I hope you liked it. So please do like and subscribe. And yeah, follow me on Instagram. So if you have any questions, please hit the comment section below. And also stay tuned for more of the videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.